Fiat Job came to MPC Creative through our relationship with Warner Brothers and Legendary Pictures. We were doing the VFX on the Godzilla feature, we were the lead house. The Riches Group had a concept to sell the new Fiat, the 500L, which is their new four-door model. It was only through the trust and relationship that MPC Features had developed with Warner Legendary that led the project to our door as, uh, as MPC Creative. So we received some agency boards um, that illustrated a story of Godzilla um, going through the streets and picking out Fiat cars like candy. And it was definitely about showcasing their product line with a humorous element, but tying in a bit of pop culture, which I think Fiat is known for. My roles in this commercial was to co-direct with uh, Dan Marsh and to VFX supervise the commercial with Andy Boyd. I was the, the 2D supervisor, Andy was the 3D supervisor. We were able to start at the very beginning, liaising with the agency, getting involved at treatment stage with Dan and Jake directing the process. They were able to contribute to the story and we had storyboards and previous artists which were instrumental. We looked at dailies from the feature to understand how he moved, what the timings would be and whether we could fit all of this into a 30 second commercial. He's back! And it looks like he's craving Italian. By the time we finished the previews, everybody had a very clear idea of exactly what it was going to look like. All right, another rehearsal. Clear? So make sure we lock it up all the way by the camera. Uh, once we locked our locations, we scheduled a two-night shoot downtown in Los Angeles and a uh, third evening of just some helicopter shots for our big wide city shots. A lot of activity and a massive amount of set dressing and design and a lot of moving parts to, to keep us going. Jake and I could coordinate across those nights where if one of us was at one set but we needed to begin starting to approve the look and design of another set, we could kind of tag team things and move very nimbly in a very high stress shoot. The most enjoyable part of this job was definitely directing the two nights downtown, being a part of that, being able to make decisions that then ultimately get played out in front of you. Being involved in directing on the front end really helped streamline all of the work that had to happen on the back end. We obviously wanted to showcase the cars, but we wanted to match the tone of the film in a light that fits more like an action movie than standard car product photography. I think it's the first car commercial I've ever seen where the car's allowed to drive on the wrong side of the road. So we were pretty psyched about that too. Very early on we decided with the supervisors of the movie and the director that the best possible plan to hit the timings that we had was for Vancouver to actually send one of their lead animators from the movie down to work with us in Los Angeles. So he actually came down Richard Spriggs and spent a few weeks with us actually animating the character along with our animation team here. Our map painters began touching up and just, you know, destroying the city. We use our pipeline from Los Angeles to Vancouver. We can sync all of our data. Lighters in Vancouver, who are the lighters on the feature, could then render our shots of Godzilla and sync them back over to us for compositing in-house. The dust and debris effects were led by Jonathan Vaughan and his team in Houdini. They were a very important aspect of the commercial and really helped integrate Godzilla into the environment. You can see in this shot we had a couple of hours in the helicopter we were able to go and shoot downtown background plates. There were some conversations early on in the job going between the idea of shooting back lot with doing a lot more map painting but it was really important for us to shoot all this stuff on location and have real environments to base all our production design into. The end result really shows a much better result by doing so. For all car commercials really is the main thing is to get perfect reference. It makes our life much easier to integrate a CG car into that environment because we can A, B it against the real car in the location and match it exactly. It's a funny, snazzy spot and we're very, very proud to be involved in it. We got some very nice emails at the end, people who are legends in the visual effects field that say what a good job everybody did, that it really met their standards and that they were so happy with it. So I think that's a fantastic uh, thing for the team. Do I think we were successful? Yeah, I think we uh, nailed it.
He's back! And it looks like he's craving Italian. Fiat 500L. It's a lot bigger than you think. 